Hey guys, here's a quick tutorial on how to add blur to the background or bokeh to the background of your photos. Um, I have this photo that I think would actually benefit from having the background uh, with a little bit more blur and even enhance some of the bokeh that you see on the Christmas lights. So let's see how we can do this using ACDC Photo Studio Ultimate 2023. Um, the first obvious choice would be to go into edit mode and select blur background. Um, ACDC will automatically uh, blur the background for me, but I can't really tweak the blur that I'm adding to the background. So I'm just gonna hit Control Z and go back. And what am I gonna do is I'm still gonna use um, the AI actions. And the one I'm gonna use is select subject. So let's go ahead and do that. It does a pretty good job at selecting my subject. You can see though that there's one finger that the, um, the AI couldn't really uh, detect. So all I have to do to incorporate that is I'll first go to the overlay option so that I can see in red my selection. And then I'm going to go to the top and select brush selection so that I can add that finger. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to do this, reduce the feathering, and just brush on top of that finger. So that's good enough. Um, now I have my full subject selected. And what I have to do to actually affect the background is to invert my selection. So I'll go to select and then hit inverse. Now I have my background fully selected and I'm going to change again my overlay option to marching ants so that we can see um, exactly what we're doing to the background. So after um, selecting the background, I'm gonna go to my left filter menu here and going to select blur. This is what you'll see once you click on that. And you can see that we have different types of blurs that we can add to the background. The most common is the Gaussian blur, which works really well. You can see I'm exaggerating the effect quite a bit. Remember that by clicking the show previous button, you can see the effect you've added. And that's pretty cool, but I still don't have those nice um, bokeh parts of my image that I really want. So in order to do that, all I have to do is select the lens blur from the blur type menu. Now you'll see I have all kinds of shapes that I can select that will be reflected on my image. I can go from triangular uh, bokeh even to heart-shaped bokeh. But we're gonna try to make this as natural as possible. So I'm gonna select this hexagon to get um, a pretty neat kind of bokeh effect. And as you can see, immediately our image incorporates that effect and it looks really, really good. You can go ahead and play around with how much blur you wanna add. Um, just wanna keep it natural, so I'm not gonna add so much. The bokeh frequency slider will just make more of those shapes pop into the photo. And the bokeh brightness will make some of those shapes be overexposed, which can be a nice touch, but also you don't want to overdo it. I'm just going to add a little bit more brightness to make sure that they translate as lights. And actually, I'm going to reduce the bokeh frequency quite a bit. And then increase the amount. So that's it. So that was before and then after I applied the bokeh uh, blur effect. Then I just hit done and ACDC will automatically add the lens blur to my image.